Hello YouTube and welcome to a comparison video between the Asus PhonePad and the Apple iPad Mini. Of course it's an unfair comparison but you guys asked for it. First difference of course different screen size 7 inch display 8 inch display 1280 by 800 resolution and only 1020 by 768 pixel on the iPad mini. Do I notice a difference? Yes, it's a little bit sharper on the uh, phone pad. But in cases you use full HD smartphones or retina devices and you switch uh, often between those devices and your tablets, both devices just aren't sharp enough anymore. If you're using old smartphones or an iPhone 3GS, uh, this kind of devices, then you won't notice the difference that much. But if you're in a Retina or HD environment, you will notice the difference, the lack of sharpness on in both cases. Weight 360 grams versus 308, 312 grams. Uh, do you notice a difference? Yes, but you will notice another thing first, and this is uh, uh, how slim the iPad mini is, how well built this aluminium unibody is, and how light it feels. It just feels really, really great in your hands compared to that. This is just, it also got aluminium here, but it feels only like a cheap plastic tablet. I know it's an unfair comparison here, but it's just how the world is. The iPad mini is a better tech pawn here. Um, what else? Speakers. Speakers on the uh, back side of the Asus phone pad and we got the stereo speakers on, on the button and the speakers on the iPad mini. Uh, just uh, in comparison, they are way, way, way better. Um, camera, we got a five megapixel camera on the back side of the iPad mini, which records in full HD and is a great, uh, good quality for a tablet. Um, front facing cameras, the iPad mini wins as well. Also it's a sound audio recording as well. Definitely, definitely the better quality. Um, what else about the display, which what really bothers me is a huge amount of reflection that the Asus phone patch, uh, pad got. The Nexus 7 in comparison got way less reflection and brightness is better on the iPad mini. So the Asus phone pad can't really do anything about with the brightness settings against those reflections. It's really sad because these small light tablets, you will carry them with you all the time. You will use them outside and this is not a good thing having so ma many reflections on the device. Under here, we got our slot for the micro SD card and we got, uh, of course, a micro SIM card slot. The Asus phone pad comes with 16 GB and um, it's upgradable uh, through the SD card. The iPad mini only comes with uh, BIOS installed memory uh, <laughs> SSDs, so 16, 32 and 64 GB. And what um, is left is, of course, the integrated full function uh, messaging and phone function of the Asus phone pad, which works really good. I don't recommend using the speaker and using the tablet as a smart, big, big smartphone on your ear. Here, use a cable headset or a Bluetooth headset. This is way easy, more easy to use. Um, battery power. Um, a clear winner, the iPad mini around... Um, if the iPad mini's battery is 100%, uh, then the Asus phone pad only reaches about 70-75%. Um, we got one gigabyte of RAM in the phone pad, 512 gigabyte RAM in a uh, megabyte RAM in the A iPad mini. Uh, do you notice a difference? No, both devices are same on the same level of slowness here. Starting big apps on the iPad mini takes time. 
but the iPad mini is overall smooth and fast enough. On the Asus phone pads you always get little micro uh, lags here and even some apps won't run on the device but this is not a lack of power this is because of the Intel Atom CPU it's a single core CPU which uh, supports HT but um, not all apps support it this is the thing that I don't really like about the device um, um, on the apps market, I won't talk about the apps market, which one got the better apps and more apps and more useful apps, of course. Uh, let's talk about price. And there we come. We got 360, uh, 230 euros for the phone pad 16 gigabytes with 3G. The iPad mini costs 100 euros more for the 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi only version. You have to pay another 130 euros. So uh, for the 3G 6 or 4G LTE version. So the iPad mini with 4G cost twice as much as the Asus phone pad. Is it worth it? Ah, it's really, really hard to tell. In my opinion, yes, it is. But if I can bring here a third device in it, I would definitely recommend the uh, Nexus 7 with 3G and 32 gigabytes. If you want one, 300 euros, that's the way in the middle to go here. If you can, don't want, we don't really, really, really want and need the telephone function here. But in any case, I would definitely recommend to wait af until after Google's I.O. conference, uh, which is just around the corner. Uh, they will pre I'm pretty sure they will present a new Nexus 7 version, maybe with a high resolution uh, display, maybe even with a phone function, who knows, maybe with LTE and 4G, who knows this. So. Um, this is it. This was my comparison between the both devices. Uh, definitely better build, faster, uh, better display, even with a lower resolution, better usability, better speakers, better battery and double the cost here for the iPad mini. But in my opinion, it is worth it. If you want something cheap, if you want a cheap Android device and you can forget about the phone function then definitely take the nexus 7 or its successor so this is it thanks for watching see you guys in the next video and bye